Alaji Ayabelo, uh, State, that there was a replacement in that case. So, is yeah, that yes. a... you see, the, the only opportunity you have, if you are in love with your party, and your party, you want your party to replace you, and you have run out of time, the only thing for you is to die. If you want to sacrifice that for your party, you can die. You can commit suicide so that your party can come in. That is what the law says. But let me refer you to the case of Labour Party versus INEC. After the election, you know, the Mawa case came later. I appeared in that matter with Chris, which is senior advocate. That was the only time we succeeded in stopping the election, the by election or rerun in Adamawa State. Our chairman of the party in Adamawa was our candidate. When he lost, he took appointment and resigned from the party with uh, uh, Nyako's government. So when the election was nullified, they quickly pushed him. He printed posters on the level. He said, no, you have gone. We are putting another candidate. We wanted Jordan Zingina to run at that time as governor. We went to Federal High Court. So the Federal High Court took it under interpretation of the Constitution, took it under case stated to the Court of Appeal, Kaduna. Kaduna interpreted it. Yes, all your depositions are right, but you cannot change your candidate because the time for substitution has just gone. Then we went to Supreme Court. When we got to Supreme Court, the little read by uh, uh, Justice Mustafa. He said, no, it was like in a heat. The heat has since been concluded, and those participating are known. So you only had a false start. Okay. And that uh, false start is what you are going to repeat. When you, to cannot, you, cannot, you cannot have another candidate. Right. We'll so it's way. like PDP in that election, sorry, having no. two candidates okay. with that Labour Party. We'll come back to this candidate. in a moment. Yes. Don't go away. Welcome back. So, still drawing from when uh, Prince Abubakar Aldo's name uh, was replaced with that of Alaji Ayabelo. Uh, let's get your response. Yeah, um, in the case of uh, um, Ayabelo, what happened was that if you look at Section 33 of the Electoral Act, mm -hmm. it's very clear. It says, debt and voluntary withdrawal of candidate. That's the only room a, a political party that sponsors such candidate can substitute. But the problem with Ayabelo, if you look, he said, before the commencement of proofs. If you read the, the section 33 of the Electoral Act very well, section 36 of the Electoral Act very well, he said before the commencement of if a candidate dies, now the pool has started. I'm very, 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 very surprised that the Supreme Court went the way they went to say that they can still substitute. Because if once the pool commences, the political party cannot be allowed to substitute a candidate. Just like what I'm saying, if a candidate voluntarily withdraws in, according to section 35 of the Electoral Act, the implication is that political party that sponsored it candidate will not substitute. Now, if anybody is supporting INEC or any political party registered by INEC is supporting INEC, that INEC should go on with a candidate who has voluntarily withdrawn from the race is to make room to create void votes. And that void vote is a vote against a certain political party. And that is well, it. That's beyond the realm of law now. But if we look at this particular one, Chief, so just for those who argue that uh, the right to withdraw is different from the duty of the political party to convey the notice to INEC. They say, look, there seems to be some sort of confusion. That maybe that is there confusion for that you? Is, that's not confusion. The law, the law is very clear. It is like people who run the interpretation act. When the provisions of a law or enactment is very clear, you don't need to go to interpretation act. It is only when there is a confusion or ambiguity that you say, let us see how they interpreted it. Just like. A party may choose direct or indirect primaries. You recall I was here, and I said, APC, you are wrong to do both. Then we, go to, we went to the interpretation and to see the meaning of all. The interpretation said it means exclusivity, not, not related, not joint. So in this instant case, it is clear. Either you die or you withdraw within time. Once you have fallen out of these two provisions of the law, INEC will not remove the ballot of that political party, that the logo of that political party from the ballot. That is the ambiguity. It is clear. So unless unless we are importing it into so, a law. So it doesn't that but they also argue that that then takes away her right to withdraw. No, her right to withdraw has not been trampled upon. She has gone. 
But you are only injuring the party that gave you platform. Yes, because the party is now complaining that uh, there are some monies that are accrued to her that we should collect well, campaign on the funds. Well, on the issue of On the campaign of campaign yeah, funds. Yeah, on the issue of shouldn't money. It be, shouldn't it be upon the <laughs> candidate or who was withdrawn yeah, now yes, to remit the, the money that, that, is that is her the party claims that are still in her possession? Gimba, on the issue of money, that is the internal affairs of the party. If the party leadership is convinced that Obi collected money on behalf of the party, to prosecute her election, and she has not given full disclosure and account of such money. Didn't they the can, party, they can challenge it. Didn't the party make a mistake? Because every money is coming in for this campaign ought to have been domiciled in the party's account. I agree with you. What it has to do with the election is the party that contests election. All those funds raised must come into the party. But she has responded saying that there's no such thing. Let them you go know, and sort it out. It's an entire effort of Let them go and sort it out. You know, in, in a Chamberlain, you see, just like he, 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 he just put out, that her withdrawal 45 days, 45 days to the election, less than 45 days to the election, is injuring the party. The political party that sponsored her swiftly support, started supporting another candidate. Ah, they injured. That's the thing. You see, you see, all this is a game. If you insist there is no law, I still want to be corrected. Section 35 did not allow INEC to insist that a candidate must go on with a lesson willingly. It is not there. The, the section, that is the philosophy of that 45 days, is to allow the political party that sponsored her to substitute her. So if she withdrew less than 45 days to the election, that right of substitution is taken away. That's all. I don't know why political, why political, you see, when I next started registering all these police, you ask them, like my learned friend here, who is, the, who is the presidential candidate of their party? We don't have they don't have presidential candidate. Yes. They are supporting is another it, candidate. It, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. They are supporting no, no. another candidate. No, 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 that is why. Yes, yes, please, 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 please. They don't have presidential candidate. They don't have presidential candidate. No, no, they don't have presidential candidate. And the essence of not having and the essence of not having presidential candidate is not for nothing. It's not for nothing. Can you quickly don't come to television and make sweeping statements? It's not a sweet statement. Let Tell us your presidential we're, candidate we're, we're, and why you don't have presidential candidate. Respond. There is no law that provides that you should have a presidential candidate. You are quoting law. Yes. It is not illegal not to have a presidential candidate. Okay. Let, me, let me finish this point. And two, Quick we, we, are, I, we are registered two weeks before primaries. We are building up. All that will affect us is if we don't win one seat. All right. At least state assembly, then we'll be the register. We need to go and that is my address. We are not going to be a presidential candidate. So, what did we do? Goodbye, everybody. Are, Thank you for watching. I'm Chamberlain. Yes. Yes. And I am Gimba Umar. I am Makine. Have a wonderful day. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.